Galaxy A55 5G smartphone and in this video I'll show you all the amazing tips and tricks hidden feature of this smartphone. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. Firstly let's talk about this cool camera widget. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on widgets. There you will see the option of custom camera. Tap and hold it and drag and drop on the home screen. Now it is actually a camera widget you can set a starting mode so if you will click on this uh, camera widget it will open the camera with that specific mode you can select uh, the rear camera ported mode video mode etc click on starting mode here you can select the mode you want to uh, open the camera with this so here i want the video mode whenever i will tap on this it will open with the rear camera video mode now you can also set an image for this as well uh, here you will see the option of widget background click on this then click on set an image you can also save here a quote a motivational quote or something like this here i select this picture and then click on save now you can see it will start uh, showing on your home screen now whenever you will tap on this it will open the camera app with that specific mode as you can see i have selected the video mode with the back camera it has opened the camera with this mode and the camera so you can use this one widget this is really handy for the camera and looks really cool as well you can also enable this double press or power button to open this torch you can set any f for this specific action so if you want to enable this simply open your settings Scroll down and then click on advanced feature. There you will see the option of side button. Click on this. By default it is selected to quick launch camera. Click on the setting button. Now you can select any app. But if you want to keep the torch then select the torch. Now whenever you will double press the power button it will turn on your flashlight. And if you will press it again it will turn it off. So you can also enable this handy feature. With the help of next AI feature, you can remove any object from any image. Simply open any image and then click on this edit button. Click on these four circles. There you will see the option of object eraser. It will take few seconds and now draw a circle around the object you want to remove. And then click on erase. After a few seconds it will completely erase the object as you can see click on done and that's how you can remove any object from any picture in the smartphone you can also enable different pop-up notification styles as well simply open your settings scroll down and then click on notifications there you will see the option of notification pop-up style you can select the brief or detailed one here i select brief now select the edge lighting styles now you can select your favorite one there are a lot of options you can even change the colors of this notification style you can also change the transparency and duration as well so select your favorite one and then click on done now whenever any notification will come to your smartphone it will show that specific notification style if you will try to take a screenshot by using your three fingers you won't be able to do that but there is another gesture by which you can click a screenshot Simply use your palm and swipe to the left like this and it will click a screenshot. So you can use this one gesture to click a screenshot. You can also enable the call background feature as well. This looks really cool. Simply open your dialer, click on these three dots and then click on settings. Scroll down there you will see the option of call background. Click on this and then click on background. You can select any photo or video as well. Here I select this one. So. If someone will call me, it will show this background. You can click on set as call background. Now it has applied. So you can use this one. This looks really cool. You can use two applications in a single screen in the smartphone as well. Let me show you how you can do this. Open any app, then put it in recent and then click on apps icon. There you will see the option of open in split view. Click on this and then select the second app you want to open. For example, I want to use Chrome with Play Store. Now you can see you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. Now change this three button navigation. You can also do this. Simply open your settings. Scroll down and then click on display. Scroll down there you will see the option of navigation bar. By default it is selected two buttons. 
click on swipe gestures swipe from left or right to open recent simply swipe up from the middle bottom and hold there it will open the recents and if you want to go home screen simply swipe up from the middle bottom so that's how you can change from three button navigation to gesture navigation if you will long press your power button it will open the samsung pixby app instead of your power menu if you want to set the power menu here simply open your settings scroll down and then click on advanced features there you will see the option of side button click on this and then there you will see the option of press and hold by default it is selected to wake bixby select power off menu now whenever you will long press your power button it will open your power menu you can also clone any app or make dual of any app with the help of this you can log in with two different accounts uh, of a single application simply open your settings scroll down and then click on advanced features again scroll down there you will see the option of dual messenger click on this it will show all the application which are cloneable in your smartphone now select the app you want to clone then click on install click on confirm and then click on next and then click on done it will take few seconds and then it will create a dual of this application i have selected the facebook now you can see in my app drawer to facebook the first one is here the second one is here so that's how you can make clone of any application in this smartphone if you want to change the ui colors of this smartphone you can also do this simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on wallpaper and style there you will see the option of color palette click on this and then enable color palettes now select your favorite palette but if you want to change a specific color then click on basic colors and then select your favorite one and then click on apply it will take few seconds then it will change the ui color to your specific color as you can see now my ui color is green you can see this color in a lot of places like in your dialer and in your calculator etc so that's how you can change the ui color of the smartphone you can also enable auto call recording in the smartphone as well you don't have to download any third party app simply click on the dialer and then click on these three dots click on settings scroll down and there you will see the option of record calls simply enable auto record calls then click on confirm now it will record all your calls automatically so you don't have to download any third party app for this some tips and tricks hidden feature of galaxy a55 5g smartphone if this was helpful for you in any way then please like this video subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next one till then have fun and keep on exploring